So, large language models are here and they're here to stay. And they're here to develop. Uh, I mean, the middle one, Monica. And <laughs> I stopped and then what about large language models. And you know, they are on, in a sense, the such a leverage of what humans have written over the years on the internet. So they will reflect our input, but each of us are different. So uh, each of us is different and uh, we tend to make uh, personal statements and we're prejudiced and we have our, we have limitations in our experience. So you know, when large language models try to do the best statistically, they are kind of calculating the average of humanities and personalities and so on. So the really interesting question is, what personality, uh, if any, do we assign to these large language models? And that's a really interesting question. Uh, because, you know, um, when we read some sentences, we perceive the personality of the writer. And that is a joy of uh, communication, that with large language models, such as ChatGPT, that venue avenue of uh, communication is cursed by definition and uh, we perceive a some kind of neutral personality but what does that mean what does it mean to average the tens of millions of writers that have contributed to the collective uh, linguistic uh, uh, corpus that we have at present so what is the relationship of this average personality to our individual personalities? That is a really interesting question, both theoretically and practically. And meanwhile, I am happy to output my own contribution to the, you know, natural language corpus um, like this, or on Twitter, while I'm kind of reflecting my biases and my personal prejudices and so on on that and I sometimes think about my own personal relationship with the large language models and it's quite fascinating. Anyway, I keep my money on.